Hi, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with the Seasons of the Witch series, of course, um, you and the Northern Hemisphere are going into Sal Salwyn. So with Salwyn, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do this spread here, which is the Coming of Winter spread. So what I want to do is reflection is a key part of the spiritual journey. Taking time to digest the lessons of your most recent hardships is how you avoid making similar mistakes moving forward. Use the spread to understand your spiritual lessons and to prepare you for reaching the next level. can be done at any time of the year, but I'm just going to do it now. So what I'm going to do is card one. What is the energy like right now? So let's put this here so I can at least see the card, see the book. What's my energy like right now? So let's have a look. So what is my energy like right now? Move this out of the way. What's my energy like right now? Card number two is what do I need to reflect on right now? Card number three, what is the lesson behind this situation? And card number four is what is something I've overlooked? Okay, number five, how can I refresh my energy? Number six, how can I protect myself against future storms? And card number seven, how can I prepare myself for future growth? Well, let's have a look at this. So I've got these cards to one side, right. Card number one, what is my energy like right now? A sacred devotion, a worship, skin deep, rising from the ash of the waters you keep. So it feels like I'm in a very sacred space right now, which is quite cool. What do I need to reflect on right now? Reflection. Be wary of things you believe to see with eyes wide shut, for they are mirrors of the mad and truth when spoken with a bleeding tongue. Interesting. So it feels like I'm in quite a sacred place right now, but I need to reflect keep deep reflecting. I keep, I think it's a lot of it is about myself. I need to reflect on myself. I need to reflect where I'm at. What is the lesson behind the situation? Elders, birth from seed within the belly of the moon. They are the wise felt touches over us. And I felt deep within the marrow of our spirit. Maybe the, the lesson behind the situation is about learning from others, which is interesting because that was my card of the thought today. Okay, what is some I've overlooked? Uncaging the spirit within the fertile power you hold upon tongue is a gift I shall cherish each day. There. For me, when I read that, uncaging the spirit, I think I've overlooked my own freedom that I truly have in this moment. I've got to reflect on that. I really have the freedom to do whatever I need to do and whatever I need to do for myself. So how can I refresh my energy? To taste one must swallow it whole and beneath the satin flame hides drowning waters. So it's like an acceptance. To taste one must swallow it whole and beneath the satin flame hides drowning waters. It's an interesting card. Okay, how can I protect myself against future storms? The healer. How can I protect myself against future storms? Healer. Listen as the medicine bleeds through her teeth, a river of mercy. Blessed by mother, seen only by those who hold her mirror. The healer card, that's interesting. So the last one is, how can I prepare myself for future growth? The veil. Quite possible your eyes have become the fog in which you dwell. A half-swallowed glimpse of all that you truly are. It can be that the tears you bleed are ready for the storm to turn the skies inwards. So I feel like I have to lift the veil. 
for future growth. What an interesting range of cards. Now let me just sort of dive a little bit deeper into these cards. Okay, the first card we have is Altar, which is two. Card number two. Okay, devotion, worship, individuality, individuality. Your altar sacred space created something for your practice. Each altar you create is a gift for expression. If you pulled altar, could your guides thrill to see you making an effort? There needs to be an intention, a worshipping, and a space so that you can harness your energy without disruption. Either a physical space or a metaphorical space like in your heart. It's even better to have both where you can come back to your true self. Know you, that you have a power deep within you that needs a place to land. Your guides need a space to speak to you. They can reach you anywhere on the planet and you can call on them anytime. That's interesting. Okay, so the next one was Reflection, which was 32. Keywords, truth and fear. Okay, reflection shows the person you've become for better or for worse. It shows the parts of yourself you wish you could hide and the parts that you are to your liking. Your reflection has no desire to hide your truth. You're being guided to acknowledge who you are at this time. Looking to the future is great and so is setting goals. But how can you make a plan for where you're going if you haven't come to terms with where you are now? That's interesting. can be challenging to stand in the truth of who you are today. Okay, however, pretending these circumstances do not exist, like hiding under a sheet of paper in a rainstorm, it will protect you for a few moments, but eventually the water will soak through and you'll be forced to face your reality, or in this case, your reflection. It's time to start to start being honest. Stop hiding. Oh, that's an interesting card. Ooh, okay, Elders, which was 15. That's an interesting card to look at here. Feel like I've got some real deep work to do. Compassion and wisdom. Okay. Elders are wise, the ones who've lived and experienced more ups and downs. Today, many elders are seen as a burden. Do you have the right to be supported and cared for? And many elders have not been given the space to share the wise words of their tradition because our modern world moves too fast. Yet there are those among us, particularly the witches, who still see the wisdom in the old ways. If you hold the elders' cards to remind you to have compassion for others and to never disregard someone's wisdom or experience. A Zen saying tells us you should sit in meditation for 20 minutes a day unless you're too busy. Then you should sit for an hour. This knowledge can be applied to wisdom as well. Often the thing you need most when life is moving so fast is to slow down and see what you've been missing or who you've been missing. That's interesting. Okay, so pumpkin. This is the one that I'm a little bit hurting. Pumpkin, or oh, protection, fertility, and prosperity. Protection. So what was that question? So card number four was, what is something I've overlooked? Being protected. Prosperity and fertility. You've pulled pumpkin today because you're protected and safe from harm. There's a presence around you keeping the scary things away from your front door. You can rest easy knowing that your back is guarded. This card can also mean taking some steps to keep negative people out of your life. You may need to reduce the amount of time you spend in some relationships or set firm boundaries. Doing so will allow you to put your energy where it is needed most. That's interesting. Okay, so the next one was apples, which was number four. I know this is a bit of a drawn out video in regards to this, but just gives you an idea. I mean, you're doing a reading for yourself. You don't need to try and do it all intuitively or anything like that. Um, you can do your initial thoughts, and then, of course, you go through and have a look at the book and see what it actually says. 
So for example, for apple, when apple appears in your spread, it is a warning to pause before making any decisions about someone or a situation. You do not have all the facts yet, and there could be a danger for you right now. Betrayal and deception are likely, so be vigilant. Tread carefully until everything comes to light. Especially true. Oh, no, I talk this about. I shouldn't continue to. Okay, and what question? What was this one? How can I refresh my energy? Make sure I stay protected. Be careful of deception. Be careful of being betrayed. Be rush decisions about a situation or a person. Okay, so the next one was healer, wasn't it? So that was 22. Guide and facilitator. If you've pulled the gift of healer, know that you've been called to initiate yourself as one of the wise ones. You're meant to be a guide for those who are finding their way. And there are many ways you can do this as a healer for your family and neighborhood or through building a community on social media, offering wisdom. It doesn't matter how you choose to heal. All that matters is that you do it. So it's becoming a healer. It's a resounding yes. You can become a facilitator of healing. Okay, well that sort of makes sense, doesn't it? And then the next one was the veil. This is about crossing, revealing truth and concealment. The veil card has come into your reading because new truths will soon be revealed in your situation. Things are being uncovered that we're waiting for the conditions to be just right so they can present themselves to you in the most effective way. Be sure to keep your mind open to receiving messages in unusual ways. Notice any recurring signs or symbols or even feelings. There is no coincidence for you at this time. Oh, what an interesting spread. Okay, so that's it from me for today. Good try. Coming of winter spread. Card one, what is my energy like right now? What do I need to rift on right now? What is the lesson behind the situation? What is something I've overlooked? How can I refresh my energy? How can I protect myself to storms? And how can I prepare, prepare myself for future growth? Interesting. Okay, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be.